Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be the championship match for the PGL NU Cup. And it's been a pretty wild season. I've had so much fun with Pokemon that I have out here and so many other mods along the way that have brought me to this point. And you can see I'm here up against my boy Mewtwo fan, Nate. Unfortunately, the championship match had to be played on Pokemon Showdown and Nate was nice enough to help me recreate the match. But pretty much everything that happened here is going to be exactly the same as how it happened on Showdown. We did play up against Trexo. So Trexo so and I did end up beating the number one and number two seed. I took on the two seed Thumb Brother 2 and Trexo took on the one seed the Blazing Squid. Both very very good opponents and we both came through to move on to the finals. And you can see my team. I have the Kingler, the Vicavolt, a Bandit, a Little Dug Trio, Pyroar, Gigalith, and Cryogonal. And he has the Dredagon, Sock, Slowbro, Venusaur, Exploud, and the Agron, which he dropped the Drift Blim for. So this was a really interesting match. So last match, he had both the Minior and Drift Blim, so I really had to respect the possible flying switch-ins. So I had to make the read and go for Iron Head into his Dredagon to catch the Minior switching in. But this time he had no flying type outside of Drift Blim and he doesn't really like bringing Drift Blim. So I knew that a Bandit Alolan Duck Trio would put in a whole lot of work here. And a lot of the building for this team was built around some memes. So after the semi-final match, I feel like double Z crystals became an instant meme. And I have it again here. I have the Boginium Z on my Vicavolt and the Grassium Z on my Pyroar. And of course, my thinking is that if I'm ever in a position to sweep, then my Pyroar could deal with the Venusaur easy, but I kind of get walled by the Slowbro. So I really need the Grassy MZ to ensure the KO in that situation. And for my Vicavol, I can deal with the Slowbro fine, but if I'm ever in that position, then I'm not doing nearly enough to the Venusaur. And I ran the Calcs and Savage Spin Out to a Venusaur. Even if it's at max HP, Savage Spin Out can just straight Oko. And of course, just some other memes we have. We have double agility because agility this season has been so big for me. It's won three of my matches for me in the regular season, at least, that I can think of right off the top of my head. So I had the Agility Kingler as well as Agility Vicavol. Both have been so, so good during the season. Either way, I'm just going to get straight into the match. I do believe that I let off with my Krogonal. Now, I know from watching his battles that he loves his Dredagon leads just to set up rocks. I kind of was playing off of that, and I thought that the best one to lead with would be the Krogonal to try to counter that. I've, I'm a focus Nash Krogonal, so I can take whatever hit this thing wants to go at me for and on the rocks I can do over half with freeze dry I'm guessing and unless it's a salt vest or something but it ends up not being a salt vest and I do so much damage I do over half as he goes for the dragon claw does over half to me but I don't mind because I definitely win this 1v1 and doesn't even go for the stealth rocks or anything like that so I felt incredibly happy that that uh, I got to keep those off the field because of that offensive pressure from the Cryagonal. And then he brings in the Sock, and I'm thinking that he wants to take a hit and then take me out. But here is where he reveals, first of all, he reveals Mold Breaker, and he reveals Scarfed Earthquake. And so now I'm thinking, dang, Scarfed Mold Breaker Sock actually kind of takes care of my team, like legitimately takes care of my entire team. So now I'm getting really, really concerned actually. But I bring in the Vicavolt, and I'm thinking, at this point, let's just get an agility off. Let's see what happens, right? And he switches out, and this was a mistake on my part, because I didn't realize just how well Vicavolt could wall that sock. So if I had like played it a little bit more carefully and saved it for later, then it definitely could have been a better answer to sock in the longer run. But either way, I get the agility up. I see that he switches into Venusaur, which was, I guess, his dedicated switch in. And here's where I get to finally go for the Savage Spin Out. Again, this is a moment where I thought, I felt like I prepped really well. I did, I ran the counts. I knew that even at max HP, I take it out with the full and I just go for it. I'm feeling really, really good about this play. And uh, it turns out that the Venusaur was max HP and max special defense. So I ended up doing 75%. And I know, I know, I know, I know that if it was just max HP, I would have been able to take it out. So that was super unfortunate. He ends up getting the Toxic off on me. It doesn't really matter because I can follow up with a Bug Buzz and just take it out from wherever it is. But man, that really kind of hurt. I really wanted that Oko because, like I said, I felt like that was a good bit of prep on my part. I thought that if he did bring the Venusaur, it would be physically defensive. Uh, if anything else, just for my Duck Trio. And then it just didn't end up happening. He ends up bringing out the X-Bloud. And like I said, here th this is the moment where I really could have saved it for later on in the match. But I get 
um, a bug was. Actually, in, in the actual match on Showdown, I went for Thunderbolt. This was a bit of a mistake, but but the rolls are pretty much the same, so it didn't really end up mattering in, in the longer run. But he ends up demolishing me with a Boom Burst. I thought I would be able to take a Boom Burst, but no. This thing is max special attack modest. It's um, AV, actually. I found out after the match. But just insane how much that just destroyed me. I That was definitely a misplay on my part. Vicabolt had so much use for me in, in the later game, but it's totally fine. I go into my Gigalith, right? And my honest thinking here was that I'd be able to take a hit and just get up rocks, and then uh, just bring in a Alolan Duck Trio so that Alolan Duck Trio can go in with Band and with Sand Force. Um, I didn't expect Gigalith to be able to take these hits so, so dang well. And to be fair, I did make my Gigalith with a whole lot of special defense investment, but it gets in a position where it can just set up rocks and still uh, take hits. And I end up going for the Stone Edge. I land the Stone Edge, and it ends up taking it out from about 60%. Okay, so I actually did end up taking it out from from where it was um, in, the, in the original Showdown match. So that's a bit of... Uh, of unfortunate recreation, but I was so proud of Gigalith at this point. Gigalith did the dang thing. It took champ it took hits like a gosh dang champion, and it just came back with the Stone Edge and and completely uh, blew away what I expected it to do. In any case, it, it invites in the Sock definitely. Sock just comes in, clicks close combat, and it's totally fine. I I didn't expect it to to get to do anything past that, but. Like I said, I was just so, so proud of, of Gigalith after that moment. I brought Gigalith to every dang match except the semifinal match, and that's an example of why. I love it so much. So I go into my boy Kingler, right? And actually, Kingler can take a Scar to close combat. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I end up going for the agility as he switches out into his into his uh, slow bro. And here is where some craziness happens, right? So on this next turn, I I think it over and I end up going for the knockoff right here. And uh, he stays in. I knew that this knockoff wasn't going to KO, but I needed this damage on onto this uh, slow bro. I definitely definitely needed this damage, especially for 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 the later game. But at this point, Kingler is in a position where it can do things because uh, I I do have the rocks I do have the rocks up, and um. And the Agron is going to get his sturdy broken. But well, he ends up going for the dang Trick Room. And right now, I am very, very afraid. Because I don't know really what's what's going to happen. I don't know if he has anything like too, too crazy planned for me. But I end up going for the Liquidation next turn. And just to take it out. I feel like I'm okay. I feel like I'm okay at this point. But I really don't know what he's going to try to hit me with. Goes into the Agron. Again, Surdy's broken now, so I can pretty darn freely go for the Liquidation just to take out what's in front of me. He does that much damage with a dang superpower. Turns out that this is a Bandit Aggron, so de he definitely planned to be Bandit under Trick Room and just Oko things. But it doesn't end up working out with the, with the Kingler because the Kingler just is, has so much dang defense naturally and this is a max hp kingler i end up okoing it with a stab super effective adamant sheer force life orb liquidation as he brings in the sock and again the sock is max speed scarf and i actually under speed it at plus two and i'm able to take it out under trick room and that's the match so there was a lot going on in that end game there he definitely thought by setting up that trick room his sock would under speed a plus two kingler but i didn't think that max speed kingler was going to be that necessary in this match obviously i didn't expect scarf sock but obviously he did not expect me to be max hp max attack adamant so first of all i was able to take that bandit superpower like a gosh dang champ and there was nothing he could do once he found that out and i was able to under speed scarf sock and looking at it now there was absolutely no way that he could have known that my kingler would have undersped him in that situation but a uh, rain and i were talking after this match and he had so many ways to beat me in that end game either way as soon as he gave me two turns of trick room i pretty much had that match won because even if he did under speed my kingler take that out i i still had one turn of trick room left or my lowland duck trio could have come in banded earthquake and won that match for me so he had plenty of ways to beat me but he would have had to have played with his trick room turns a little bit this has been an incredibly nuts season thank you so much to trexo for this champion Championship match. Thank you so much to Nate for helping me recreate this match. This season has been so much fun. It's been so much fun using these Pokemon. And the New Jersey Brobats are the gosh dang champions of the PGL and New Cup Season 1. Honestly, it's pretty dang amazing. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back really, really soon. We're going to have more PGBL matches and Saffron Battle Network matches this weekend. 
And those are going to be going on for the foreseeable future. And then very, very soon we will have UBL matches. That's already been revealed. And we will have MPL matches, the minor Pokemon League. That'll be coming up re really, really soon. We're going to be drafting really, really soon. But the announcement tweet has come out very, very recently. So please do check that out as well. Give support to your boy. Once again, the PGLNU Cup champions. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.